Okay, this video will show you how to create your own personal collection of images on eMuseum housed on the Delaware Art Museum website. This is a free service that we offer and all you have to do is create a profile. So when you're on our Delaware Art Museum homepage, you have to go to eMuseum, which can be accessed through clicking on this button here or going to collections, search the collection. From the collections page, you'll want to go to sign in in the left hand column. If you don't have an account yet and want to create one, you click on the register button. When you get to the registration page, fill out all of your information and submit. This will give you an account. Since I already have one, we'll go ahead and sign in and start from there. Once you sign in, the screen looks the same, except you've now added a line up here that says My Collections. If you click on My Collections, it'll show you any of your personalized collections that you've previously created. It will also show you shared collections from other users that have made their collections public for your use. You can see that there are two shared collections, one that has to do with shapes and sizes, and one that has to do with a program we, we offer. I started to create a collection called Shapes. So let's go about looking at the shared collections first and show you those. If you see any shared collections in your folders, you can click on them and it'll show you all of the pieces that whoever has created that collection put into their category. So you'll notice that this one has 18 objects and four people that have to do with all shapes and sizes. So let's see the objects that they've put into there. So you'll notice there's a range of different objects here. It's a very um, wide variety of pieces of art. If it's not what you're looking for and you want to create your own collection, all you have to do is search the collection and then add it to your own. You can also add anything from somebody else's collection to yours. Let's say I wanted to add drift number 19 to my collection. All I would do is click on the little box until it's blue check shows and click add to my collection. Whatever collection shows here will be the one that it's added to. Those are my available collections. I click add and then when I go back to my collections and click on shapes see that I have two pieces added there. Okay, so if I go back to my collections, you'll see that there's also a field that says create a new my collection. So in order to add to a collection, you'll need to create it first. So let's say I am teaching a music class and I'd like to show students pictures or paintings or sculptures of musical instruments. So I'm going to name this one Music. And I'm going to share it with the public so anyone can see it. Submit. Okay, so there's nothing in my music folder now. So what I'll need to do is look for anything that has to do with music, preferably some um, maybe instruments. Let's first search broadly Music. We've got 34 entries. So if we go down, you'll see all of these might have something to do with music or perhaps they say music somewhere in their collection. And you'll have to sift through and find the ones that are relevant for your use. So it looks like, I'm not sure I want any of these, so I'm gonna keep scrolling through until I find something. And we've got the old violin. So this is a great piece which shows the musical instrument and it's a trompe l'oeil which will be interesting to talk about with students as well. So I want to add this to my collection. I'm going to go ahead and just click add to my collection and it will be there. 
So it's as simple as that to create collections and add objects to them. You can do this as many times as you'd like and you can keep them private or public. In order to look at your collection, all you do is click on the name of it and it'll show you where you are and show you everything in it. So if I went to my shapes, it would show me in list form since I have multiples. And that's all you need to know about creating a collection. Please watch our other videos to find out more ways you can use eMuseum in your classroom. Thanks!